to my channel alien tech champion if you have not like and subscribe the channel please like and subscribe the channel uh, today I'm going to talk about how you can create the filter and how you can use that filter into Intune or Microsoft Endpoint Manager I'm sure you if you are not a new if you are watching this video if you are new you can go to my alien tech champion and start from the uh this video how you can set up right and then then you learn this right otherwise it you'll get confused so if you are uh, already knowing uh, microsoft intune and want to use that filter and create the filter this video is meant for you okay let's get talking so this is the microsoft endpoint portal as you already know i'm into the filter where you can go to the filter you just go to the app sections right click on the apps and then filter right <clears throat> here you can create the filters right it's very simple but before creating the filter i want to show you one article use filter so when you create any policies you can use the filter right if you can create the filter a filter it's very easy just create give it name and create the filter but wh where you 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 use this filter and what is the use of that filter so when you create the policies any policies or apps or anything you can use that filter which when which we we we, we actually i'm gonna create this filter in this video and we'll show you how you can use that filter so you can use this filter and assign based on your rules you create right the filter actually will which allow you to narrow the assignment scope of the policy for example you, you can use filter to target devices with specific os version or a specific manufacturer right you want you you just want to target to the personal devices or only want to the company owned devices right so these are actually or you can some of the examples they have they have given uh, in the in in these following uh, following scenarios like if you want to deploy your ios apps to only the ip devices in the finance users groups you can use that filter which is actually very if you want to deploy an android mobile phone compliance policies to all users in the company and exclude the meeting room right or exclude the view id and or maybe then then don't support the mobile phone compliance policy setting right you can do that right so this is um, very good uh, and it has the very uh, the, uh, it has the following features and benefit like it will improve the flexibility and granularity when assigning into in policies and apps right uh, this can include exclude devices in specific groups based on the criteria you enter can be used and reused in multiple scenario like include or exclude both right which is actually and this features will apply to any mode like in whether it's in role as a device administrator and rise enterprise in Kobo, co iPad, iPad, iOS, whether it's in role through Apple configurator, ABM or normal enrollment. And you see this article actually describe how, uh, uh, how, you, uh, how you can show and how you can create, update and delete the filter. I'm not going to much talk about it. You can, of course, you can go to the learn.microsoft.com and see that's right <clears throat> so before a policy to apply a devices a filter filter actually dynamically ability applicability looking at the image right which are so so what is the prerequisites for this you have you have to be into an administrator to create the filter uh, or will know you will not be able to create the filter right so i am here i am logging with Intune administrator I'm giving the filter name here you can give the filter name like all only only COD iOS device okay or COD iPhone device only okay iPhone device so I am creating filter only for only for company on 
iOS iPhone devices not for iPad right select the platform of course I have to select iOS and here is a rules uh, if you want to learn more about create filter you just click it so here is the rules property you can select models OS versions device ownership so I am I have selected company owned right so I have to first select ownership of course you can select equal add value is corporate phone right I can add another expressions which is actually device model right right device model it should be equal or content I will show you and select iPhone right here if you click on that you see rule builder right operators equal or content right so you see OS versions equal manufactured equal right equal or content so if you see device OS version equal to equal to Microsoft so you can use that if you want to apply you can do that right so I have selected content or equal you can select equal device model I can select the device category as well manufacturer in fact OS versions if I want to show you and or or you can select or or if you select and then it will be both it's a company owned so I am selecting and because I want to apply corporate phone and iPhone and or for OS versions that would be equal not content or start with start with I will give 15.6.0 and above right so you see the syntax rules okay you can preview the devices since I don't have any devices or will it will filter it will check and will show your devices click on next you can uh, uh, assign this filter to a scope by default I am not going to assign to any of the goal because I want to be visible for all the reasons so it should let it be default click on next and create Got it. So I have created only COD iOS devices, right? You can anytime go to here, delete this. You can click on this, edit it. It's very easy. You can give the descriptions only company on, sorry, only company on, company on COD, company on so COD Apple iOS iPhone devices only for iPhone devices you can give proper descriptions if you are I have uh, also selected the device ownership as a company owned because it's I have created for company owned device model I have selected iPhone only okay and OS version I can remove it OS version if you don't want just let it add it let's edit it and just remove this one review save that's it now you have created the filters here right which is very good you can create multiple filters here right now how you can apply this filter so, okay so where do you have to go of course you can apply to the apps policy or anything suppose I am I have some policies like created so I mean iOS go to the configurations policy you see I have created the native iOS email configuration profile for the company owned devices and I don't want to apply these to to iPad devices of course I just want to push this native email profile for iPhone I have created the filter so you see the under assignment click on edit and you see I have no devices no users it's applied so if it's any company owned devices whether it's iPhone or iPad it will be there this profile will currently will apply on both iPad and iOS okay how you can apply the filter click on edit filter you want to apply the filter no currently it's not applied I want to exclude or include so if you want to apply this profile email profile only to iPad devices you can exclude this and select if you want to 
apply only for iPhone just include and which I have created this filter select this one and here right include the filter mode will include and this profile now will only get applied to iPhone devices which is company owned right you can if you want to exclude right so if any user is a part of the AD groups of course they I mean uh, and they, their devices they have the company iPhone and iPad and you want to apply this profile only to iPhone you can include it or exclude it just save so now this profile will only apply to corporate iPhone not for the even their user account is added to the AD groups or their device iPad devices added to this AD groups it will not apply so they will not get this native email configurations from the Intune server it will only apply to the iPhone because we have included the filter here I hope I am very clear about this and you understand how you create the filters and how you can use that the filter if you still not understanding just go to the Microsoft site you can see how you can delete how you can assign this is very and you can also see the filter properties here you can uh, you can see right some device name manufacturing you will see device model these are the properties I have they have given like if you want to apply for engineering devices if you want to model wise if a device OS version how you can if you confuse about this how you can uh, prop, what, what, what will be the properties you can just go to this site like if it's a DFP phone there are many right you can create many filters and uh, use that till then thank you bye bye have a good day keep exploring this alien tech champion and share with your friends and colleagues signing off Rajesh